Welcome to the Nintendo Power Couple. I'm Danny. And I'm Felia. And today we are reviewing the most awesome game of all time, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild from the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> now, we wanted something very special for Breath of the Wild, so we figured what better way to celebrate than review it in the wild. That's right. Hopefully there's no bokoblins hanging around Ooh, these trees, though. Where? <laughs> right there. <laughs> um, now, just keep in mind that this review is going to be a little incomplete. We've had the game for a little over a week now, and we've gotten to play as much as we can, but we've just barely scratch the surface so just keep that in mind when you're checking this out that's very true but what do you say let's not wait another moment let's jump in and check out the world of Hyrule Breath of the Wild starts you right off as Link awakens in a mysterious place once you exit the Shrine of Resurrection the world is completely open to explore however you see fit you'll be able to swim in rivers and lakes climb up mountains and jump in gameplay mechanics that really bring Link to life like never before the control scheme might seem a little complicated at first, but the more you play, the better you'll get. Although there's no main tutorial, there are tons of tips throughout the game to help guide and remind you of techniques and button layouts. While exploring, you can pick up anything as a weapon, from a torch to a bokoblin's arm. Be careful though, because the weapons will break over time, so make sure to keep extras with you. Switching between weapons is incredibly easy with the quick menu. By clicking any of the buttons on the left Joy-Con, you can quickly scroll through and equip any weapon in your inventory while pausing the action so enemies can't attack you. Now these weapons wouldn't be as good if you didn't have enemies to use them on, and Breath of the Wild delivers with some of the smartest baddies we've ever battled. For example, if you are too loud, you'll alert the enemy Bokoblin right at their camp who will then grab their gear to investigate. Fight them and you can try to take their weapons, but be warned, if you do, they will resort to throwing rocks at you they pick up from the ground. Weapons aren't the only thing you'll find. You could also gather tons of supplies from foraging and defeating enemies. These supplies are used to heal Link and give him other abilities like extended stamina or brief resistance to the cold. However, if you cook these items over an open fire, you can create better meals with much stronger effects. Try different combinations to see what you get. Speaking of resistance from the cold, there is a temperature gauge on the main display. If you venture into areas too hot or too cold for Link in his current attire, you'll start to take damage. Even the weather can affect Link's adventure. If it rains out, Link will have a harder time climbing slippery walls. All of this showcases how realistic Hyrule has become in Breath of the Wild. Now, at the time of this review, we do not yet have the Breath of the Wild amiibo, so we can't go over that functionality with you guys today. That's right, but they will come in, and as soon as they do, we're going to do a full video review and show you all the functionalities in this game, so don't worry. Yes, we're going to link that video to this video, so you can check them both out, so be on the lookout for that. Now, to say this game's world is big is an understatement. Luckily, thanks to Link's Sheikah Slate, you can check your map anytime and place pins and stamps to help guide you to your next quest. Aside from running, jumping, and swimming, Link can also mount and tame wild horses to travel great distances much quicker. You can even take your horses to one of the stable locations throughout the game. There, you can register them for a saddle, board your horses, and even name them. If you travel to another stable, you can still call upon your horse, even if it was boarded somewhere else. During your travels, you'll come across shrine locations throughout the map. Each of these mysterious places holds a challenging puzzle for Link to solve that rewards you with a shrine orb. Four of these shrine orbs can be transferred at any goddess statue in return for a heart piece or additional stamina. Once you've unlocked the shrine, you can then use the Sheikah Slate to teleport between shrine locations making travel and exploration that much easier. From our experiences, Nintendo was absolutely right. If you see something you'd like to explore in this game, you can surely find a way to get to it. So now that we've gone over pretty much everything we've discovered so far, I think there's only one thing left to do. And what's that? Let's grab our paraglider and head over to, to the, the review board. board. Now to start, the graphics of Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch are beautiful. Um, Hyrule's never looked this alive in full before. It is vibrant and colorful thanks to the art style. And there's times you just kind of stop by and look at the Hyrulean sunset. It's that good. That's right. <laughs> and when you're not staring at sunsets, you can absolutely explore everything. <laughs> I have spent hours just climbing up mountainsides or checking out the fields or even diving and swimming in the river. It is so much fun. It's so much fun. And um, when you're out exploring, you're going to be coming across some enemies with really fantastic AI. We love this. 
They're smart, they act realistically to what you're doing, and I'll never forget the time when Philia stole their club and they threw rocks at her. Yeah, that was kind of mean. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool thing is, if you do get hurt by an enemy, you can quickly whip up something delicious using a fish or some herbs and mushrooms to just get something together to heal Link up real quick. Yeah, um, if you do manage to lose all your hearts and get game over before saving though, the new feature they've added is the auto save feature. This will help save you sometimes um, if you forgot to save or your switch shuts off and it's different than your regular save file. That's right, and that's helped me a lot. Yes, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> that goes along with one of the awesome things about this Breath of the Wild game is how streamlined everything is. From the awesome quick menus to not having to go through a tedious like tutorial process in the beginning <laughs> of the game. It is just really wonderful and easy to use for any longtime Zelda fan or even a first time player. Um, one of the newest features in The Legend of Zelda that we didn't go over earlier because we didn't want to ruin it for you guys, but we're glad they put it in there is the voice acting. It is superb. Um, it brings all the characters to life like never before and helps tell the story in a way we've never experienced with Zelda. It's, it's, we're so glad Nintendo took this approach. It is really, really impressive. Yes. And that goes along with just the overall experience and how they sh display and portray the overall story for us. I mean, everything from the beautiful cutscenes to just the way they build this culture and explain the history of the world of Hyrule is really impressive and just really gets you into it really quickly. It really does. Um, so now that we've gone over all of our thoughts, let's go to our final verdict. Pretty sure that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the best game ever made. <laughs> I personally remember back in the Ocarina of Time days, like seeing the mountains in the distance and really wishing that I could climb on them and maybe even climb over them and explore beyond them. And now we can do all of that. It is just amazing. It really is. The maps are enormous. I mean, the mountains, the landscapes, everything feels so alive with the wildlife. Nintendo has packed so much into this game. And with future DLC on the way, it's going to keep you busy all year long. It definitely will. I mean, we have been following this game since the beginning yeah. and with all of the delays and everything, we can definitely say it is worth the wait, guys. It like, really, really <laughs> yeah. is. So make sure when you buy your Switch on March 3rd, you also pick up Breath of the Wild. You're not going to regret it. That's you're definitely not going to regret it. <laughs> so let us know what you think. How do you feel about it? Let us know in the comments below. Um, if you guys want to see more of the Nintendo Power Couple, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our more content, including Switch coverage, hauls and unboxings, game reviews, and so much more. You can also follow us on various forms of social media using the graphic right here. <laughs> we love posting pictures of our ever-growing Nintendo collection, posting updates on the show, and of course, full Switch coverage. So I don't know what you think, but I still say it's time to go back inside the house and play some Breath of the Wild. I think that's a great idea, but because the Nintendo Switch is so amazing, we can play right here. <laughs> Look at that. Think? Thank you very much. <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.